Hi everyone, good evening. Uh, this is Luciana Paz and um, welcome to, the, to our weekly sessions of 30 Minutes to Better Health. In these weekly sessions, I, my intention is to, to give you very practical tips on how to take care of your health and your family's health, okay, with the essential oils. Today we're talking about children's health children's health a lot of people come to doTERRA and start using the essential oils because of their children and then they discover you know the world of information and the world of um, knowledge and 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 potential with the essential oils for the whole family right so uh, but today we're focusing on the children on the little ones so let's start by um, taking an overall look at our our children's health when we think about children's health, we have to always focus on three main parts for, for their good development, right? First one, physical. We have to take care of their bodies, take care of the, their immune system, right? Make sure they're growing healthily. Their mental development, their mental health, and also emotional, okay? Uh, once the children begin school, when, once children begin school uh, or start at that phase of outside, you know, socialization with other children is when outside exposure to bacteria and viral infections become commonplace. We all know, right? When children start going to a daycare, when they're very young, when they're exposed to other children and, you know, exposed to, to the environment um, with, you know, other, other people uh, and other adults as well, right? is when they start, you know, getting sick. You know, it's very, very common to moms to say that, you know, when, they, when their kids first year of, of school, they basically were like home more than they were at school. Um, and this is, this is why their immune system is still not very mature, not fully mature. So they become a very easy target to infectious diseases, right? So it's very important that we start taking care of, uh, of our children's health and, you know, supporting the immune system since very, very, they're very young. Children's mental health. Just like us as adults, children have mental and emotional health, ne um, health needs that are affected by perceived trauma and stress. Some situations that may not at first appear as stressful to an adult could have a major impact in a child's emotions. Sometimes situations for us that are, you know, maybe we're used to it, could be very, um, very stressful and, and, and cause some trauma to children, like moving, you know, moving houses or moving, you know, to a different city. Uh, parents and caregivers often feel not so well equipped with tools to deal with their children's emotions and mental well-being. So it can be very frustrating to have limited resources, right? When we are trying to help our ch children overcome emotional upset, stress, hyper hyperactivity, sadness, illness, injury, and any other potential concern. Uh, basically, we as parents, sometimes we feel we don't have, you know, we, we don't have enough tools. We don't have enough um, power within them our, ourselves, right, to deal with this, with this uh, problems. Um, and that's the great thing about essential oils. And that's what, that, that's exactly what transformed my life completely is to be able to have in my hands, in my house, something that I could be like that first line of response, that first, you know, thing that I can do to try to make things better for my kids at home before I go out to the doctor, before I try um, to get, you know, uh, a doctor's advice because some things we as moms we know right a fever could be emotional um you know when my kids were very young my son was he was he was one one year old um my my husband had to travel for work he stayed like a month almost almost a month um you know um away from home and uh, by the end of the second the third week my son started to have a fever i knew it was emotional everything was perfect Every, he was fine i knew it was emotional right so we as moms we have this intuition right we know what our, our kids need we know we have so if i had something like the essentials at that time oh my gosh my life would be so much you know um easier so uh children are particularly responsive to aromas and healthy touch 
Simply by smelling or experiencing an essential oil massage technique is very comforting to a child and could support rapid changes to behavior and responsiveness to trauma to traumas or difficult situations. So sometimes, especially on that phase when the kids cannot talk yet, they cannot express themselves. They, they cannot say, hey, I miss daddy. Hey, I miss, you know, mom or I miss grandma. They cannot express. So, so they, um, they, the, their response is through uh, physical changes and sometimes illnesses, right? Um, but, but, but things like just putting um, a diffuser on or just, you know, um, with the right dilution, making a massage um, in, your, in, your, in your kid could um, extremely help, help, help them extremely. Okay, this could have a very, very huge impact on their, on the way um, they respond to, to this kind of stressful situations. All right. Uh, still talking about the response, the kids' response to aromatherapy. Many real study life situations have demonstrated um, that a room full of children under a variety of circumstances have near universal positive response to mood, outlook, behavior through the use of diffusing to being exposed to essential oils, okay? Uh, so diffusing essential oils could be critical, could have a critical uh, effect on the behavior of children, okay? Um, I love suggesting, you know, to schools, to people who are teachers, that they come together and they um, use the essential oils in the classrooms. That's super important. Okay. While well, we always advise to look for poor, proper medical advice, medical medical care, right, when needed, there are so many situations when you can take care of your little ones naturally and safely using essential oils. That's exactly what I was talking before. Okay. Um, um, this offers an empowering solution for parents and caregivers to take care off and help those people they know and love so much to overcome stressful situations as they grow. It's also empowering to know that you have a natural tool that um, can help prevent potential illnesses and support health and wellness. So let's talk specifically about the kids collection. Okay, this is something relatively new in doTERRA. It was released here in the US last year. And this year during um, um, Brazil's convention, doTERRA released in Brazil. So I'm super excited for everyone in Brazil to have this kit available. Um, so this kit is, uh, consists of seven uh, specifically formulated blends for kids, okay, designed to work on the, exactly the three areas that we talked about, mental, emotional, and physical. For the mental health, okay, we have the thinker and calmer. For emotion, we have brave and steady. For the physical, we have rescuer, stronger, and the newest of all was just released uh, recently, Tamer. Okay, all blends come already diluted with fractionated coconut oil, so they are safe to use in young children. Okay, we always say one, old, one year old or older, but you know, always follow your consultant's advice on that. Okay, um, for higher safety and reduced risk of sensitivity uh, for the delicate skin of the kids. All right, so let's look at each one individually. Okay. Thinker, let's talk about the thinker. This blend is designed to help our kids with focus and concentration, okay? That's, that's a huge problem with the, for a lot of moms. You know, we have um, hyper um, um, uh, um, active kids nowadays, right? Uh, but we can treat them, them naturally. We don't need to give any medicine, right? This can be a challenging. This can be challenging during stressful times at school. During tests, exams, if your kid is a little bit older, maybe be in elementary school and going through that phase, right? And especially young kids, they don't know how to deal with stress, right? With this type of stress of exams and tests. I remember my kids when they started having, you know, and the school puts a lot of pressure nowadays on them, right? So it's a lot for them to handle. I remember my, my kid, he was like five, six, and he was like, oh, I have a test and, you know, and he would be all like nervous. So, and it's okay. So you, if you have things like calmer to calm them down or thinker to help them focus and concentrate, like, you know, you're using something natural, you know, you're using nature on their bodies. So, and, and it has a huge effect, a huge effect on them. 
okay especially because their bodies is so pure is so you know uh, clean we want to maintain like that right as much as we can um, so this blend will help them with uh, to be more alert to have more clarity and peace to get tasks done more successfully. So this will consequently increase their self-esteem as well, right? That's awesome. So apply on the back of their necks and bottom of the feet as needed. So maybe before they go to school or before they do homework, you know, as you feel they need it most. This blend contains vetiver, clementine, peppermint, rosemary, and it's diluted with fractionated coconut oil, okay? The, the, the presentation is beautiful, you saw, right? It comes, it comes in a case, it comes with the top, the silicone top, so it's very fun for the kids. Um, um, when, when I brought this, this kit from Convention last year, um, I used to put on the table and they would pick whatever you need today. What, what do you need today? So this helps also for them to be aware of their emotions, right? Kids don't, sometimes they don't think, um, you know, sometimes, no, I think never they think about their emotions unless the parents are there to tell them, hey, what do you feel? What exactly do you feel? How do you feel today? And they started to, to pick their own blends, right? Today, mom, I need this because I have a presentation. I need to be, you know, calmer or I need to be this or, you know, they would like think about how the way they felt so that they could, you know, they, they themselves would pick. It's not like mommy choosing, right? They have their, their, their own essential oil. So they felt super, you know, empowered. That's amazing. So the next one, calmer, right? Still the mental blends. Um, so uh, if your little one needs some help at that time, calmer is the perfect blend for him. A lot of times the challenges for, to fall asleep has to do with too much overstimulation during the day. These kids are so, um, they have so much information, you know, um, sometimes we, we, we give iPads and we give phones. So they, they are overstimulated. Their minds never stop right so and 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 this for very sensitive kids could could cause problems falling falling asleep um so this is the bland design for that right um so uh it will help them achieve a state of tranquility and relaxation inducing them to fall asleep faster all right um uh, you can apply on the back of their neck Whose points and bottoms of their feet as needed. I would say, you know, before going to bed, maybe half an hour before they go to bed, um, that's a great time. It contains lavender, cananga, palo de buda, rum and chamomile, and fractionated coconut oil. Emotional blends. So let's talk a little bit about the emotional blends. Emotional blends, we have the blends for the heart, and each one on each bottle, they have the 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 little drawing right to show that this is uh, an emotional blend so first of all we have brave that's the courage blend our as our kids start to develop relationship at school and in social occasions right they start to socialize you know as soon as they go to school they start to have contact with other kids before they were like all the only ones right the king of the house and now this they have to learn how to deal with other people and other needs and other wants right so um, that's, that's when sometimes some kids may feel a little bit, you know, they, they start having these highs and lows, right? Um, so it's important that we, we, we reinforce um, confidence in them. And that's the, the blend for that, right? To, to, for, to make them feel secure, to make them feel brave. And every time you, you use this blend, you can say, hey, you are brave. And, and this reinforces this, this notion that, yeah, I can, I can choose what I, what I want to be, right? Um, so this blend was designed to bring that feeling of self-confidence and security so, uh, that the kids need to face the world and its challenges, right? Uh, you can apply to the back of the necks, bottoms of the feet. You see that, you know, the, 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 the locations, you can use your intuition as well. Sometimes over the heart is amazing. I love the emotional blends over the heart. Um, pulse points is also a great uh, area. Or just put on, the, on their little hands and have them inhale, um, you know, forming a, a cup and inhale from their hands, okay? This blend, con this blend contains wild orange, amaris, cinnamon, olive extract, and uh, diluted with fractionated co coconut oil. All of them are diluted with fractionated coconut oil. This one specifically, you have to be a little bit more careful with the sun sunlight exposure because it contains a citrus oils. It, it contains uh, wild orange, 
Uh, so you, uh, I suggest you, you wait until after 12 hours for, um, after application for sun exposure, unless you apply on the bottoms of their feet and, and, you know, hidden areas. Okay. But be careful with the, with the citrus oils. Next, we have Steady. Steady is the grounding blend. So for those of you who already know doTERRA, you know balance, right? That's the balance for kids, uh, the grounding blend. This, this is the grounding blend for the kids. It's designed to reduce anxiety, stress, and, and bring them to a more steady pace on, um, on how they can deal with their emotions, okay? Uh, creating the habit of showing our kids that they can manage emotion emotions in a natural simple simple way is the best gift we can give them right as i was uh, uh, talking to you before so um making them aware of how they feel and having them pick their own blends you know as 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 soon as they are able to do that right um you know four or five years old um if you can start explaining the emotions and and then can start like being aware of how they feel so they can they can feel empowered to 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 um, to choose for themselves. That's great. That's a great gift we, we give our kids. I think, you know, for the rest of their life, their lives, when they can stop and think, how do I feel? What do I want? What do I miss? What do I need at this moment? Why, how do, why do I feel like this? Right? That's amazing. This blend contains amiris, balsam fir, coriander, magnolia, diluted again with fractionated coconut oil. All right. And lastly, the physical blends, we have three physical blends. We have Rescuer, the Soothing Blend, Stronger, the Protective Blend, and Tamer, the Digestive Blend. Let's take a look at each one individually. So this Rescuer is like the Deep Blue, the Deep Blue for us, right? This is the Soothing Blend for kids. Rescuer was designed for those moments they come back with a bruise or a pain or some muscle after running around uh, the park with their friends and, you know, they come back, you know, crying and something happened and you, you see a huge bruise, right? Uh, so this will help with inflammation, with bruises, and also can help with growth pain for the little ones. Sometimes they complain with growth pain, especially on their legs or their arms. Um, you can apply as needed on their joints on areas of pain in the body, right? Even sometimes, you know, some kids have headaches is, is not common, but it happens. I, I have heard cases like this, very young kids having headaches. Of course, you have to, you know, look for, for professional di uh, diagnosis, right? But, uh, sometimes it could be, you know, uh, um, uh, digestive problems. It could be just, you know, regular attention. Um, some kids are more prone to that, right? Um, and you can also use on their front for, for the, in that case. It contains lavender, spearmint, copaiba, that, that oil I have never heard about, like santosilum, <laughs> uh, diluted fractionated coconut oil, all right? So we have amazing oils to treat the inflammation and to help with the bruises, okay? Stronger, that's the, the protective blend for kids. That's the own guard for kids. All right, so this blend will protect your kids from harmful environmental threats. So if you have a kid um, at home who is always sick, who is prone to have, you know, some seasonal uh, problems, respiratory problems, and it needs a boost uh, in their immune system, that's the blend for them. You can use this every day, every day on the bottoms of their feet uh, before they go to bed right? You can even use together with calmer, use calmer on the back of their neck to, to help them fall asleep and use a stronger every day on the bottoms of their feet, okay? So uh, it will strengthen the immune system. This could be, you know, this would be the beloved on guard we all know about in the kids version. Um, apply on the bottoms of their feet and along the spine. That's another area that's a great area um, that you cover all, you know, all your body along your spine. It contains uh, cedar wood, frankincense, leafy, and rose, and diluted with fractionated coconut oil as well. Tamar. Tamar is the digestive blend, and that's the newest addition to this collection, right? And Tamar is uh, the one to help with the digestive tract. It could be a constipation, diarrhea, reflux, indigestion, stomach pain. All these issues can be addressed with this wonderful blend. It contains spearmint, Japanese peppermint, ginger, black pepper, parsley seed, and fractionated coconut oil, okay? So in this case, I would say follow your instinct as a mother, you know, use on their tummy if they're feeling any discomfort 
you know, digestive discomfort or pain in their stomach, okay? Um, around the chest, if it's like uh, uh, acid reflux or anything like this, and, you know, around the belly button for, for um, diarrhea or, or constipation, all right? Okay, so I also added some other recipes. If you have any, any questions up until here, you can just, um, you know, put it in the chat. I'll, I will address. Um, and I also included some other, um, so these blends are blends already, they are ready and, and you can purchase their, their, these blends straight from doTERRA as they are. But I also added some other recipes, you know, for uh, mothers with little, little ones. So bad wetting, that's something that we receive a lot of uh, questions about that, right? Especially kids who are already seven or six, seven, eight, and, and, and still have this type of problem. For older children who can swallow a capsule, it's recommended one to two drops a day of, oh my gosh, I think it's, I, I forgot to put the, the oil, but it's coriander. It's coriander, the oil. I don't know what happened here with this light. Okay, so it's coriander, all right? So for, for older children who can swallow a capsule, one to two drops of coriander a day. Increase uh, the number of capsules per day as needed. But, you know, uh, depending on the age of your kids, internally, we always suggest, you know, six years old or older to, to have it internally. For younger kids, place one to two drops of Cypress on their, over their bladder. Okay, over the bladder diluted with coconut oil uh, before they go to bed. Um, colic blend, colic blend, one tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil. Uh, you dilute, you're gonna dilute one drop of Roman chamomile, one drop of lavender, and one drop of fennel. And you massage their tummy. You massage their tummy. All right, fennel is amazing. Uh, if you'd like, like for, for very little babies, I always suggest you use the, the dilution uh, table for poor, proper dilution, depending on the age, right? If it's very, very young, from this one, I recommend the Roman chamomile. It's very mild. It's very, um, and it's very soothing for this type of uh, situation, okay, for colics. The Roman chamomile, if you have to choose one. Uh, but if you like for, for, I would say for baby six months and older, you can use three drops for one tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil. Okay. So earache, um, another very common problem with, um, you know, young children, you can apply one drop of basil and one drop of melaleuca uh, in a cotton ball and place on the surface of the ear. We're not talking about like uh, you know, like making the, the, the cotton ball super moisty or anything like that, that, you know, we don't want to drop any, any, anything, any essential oils in their ear. You have to very be care, very careful with the ear canal. Okay. It's on the surface. It's just the vapor of the oils on the cotton ball that will help with the earache. All right. And you can rub a little bit behind their ears diluted with coconut oil. So basil and melaleuca, they are amazing for that. All right, common cold. In two tablespoons of a fractionated coconut oil, you can place two drops of melaleuca, one lemon, highly antiviral um, oil, super, super great for this type of situations. And one drop of On Guard. You can massage a little bit um, of the blend on their neck, chest, and along the spine several times a day, all right? Um, diaper rash, diaper rash in one tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil, you're going to place one drop of Roman chamomile, one lavender and one frankincense. All right. Some people like to do spray. You can do spray as well, right? You can make a, a little spray. So it's easier when you're changing diapers to apply. If the skin is patchy, add melaleuca to the mixture, right? Um, diaper rash can be caused by many different factors, such as irritation to urine, stool, uh, reaction to new foods, bacterial yeast infection, sensitive skin, um, or maybe the kids is using antibiotics, resulting in lack of friendly bacteria. So, you know, if, yeah, of course, if you have a diagnosis from your doctor and you know exactly, you know, what you're dealing with, it's easier to look for the essential oils that can help with this case, right? Um, but here it suggests, that's a suggestion from the Essential Life book. Um, if the skin is patchy, add melaleuca, all right? Because it's more antibacterial. Fever. Um, fever, 
you can uh, dilute one drop of lavender and massage baby's back of neck, um, back of neck, feet, and along the spine and behind the ears. For older kids, right? Uh, for for babies still, uh, you can dilute one drop of peppermint and use only on the bottoms of their feet. For older kids, you can add the peppermint with lavender, and I would also la add lemon, eucalyptus, and mal and, uh, and melaleuca. Okay. Um, I would add these five uh, oils to the back of their spine, bottoms of the feet, chest. So um, we can play with, a, with, a, with that, right? Basil is also, also an amazing oil for fever. Basil, you can add for fever as well, right? And I think that was all I had for you today. I know it was, um, you know, maybe a lot of information, but hopefully with the, the, the kids kit, the kids collection, you know, you have a lot of things that ready, ready, ready to go, ready to use the, the emotional, mental and, and the, the physical blends um, are amazing and they work. All right. Thank you very much for, um, for your participation here tonight. And this will be available on my YouTube channel. All right. Thank you and see you next week. Have a great night. Bye-bye.